What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. When you're on a diet, one of the worst things you can do is sabotage your entire day by having a bad breakfast. Whether that's driving through Starbucks and getting some crazy drink, going through Krispy Kreme and getting a dozen donuts and eating four of them, or even something as simple as getting bacon and eggs at a restaurant and you have no control over the amount of oils or the unnecessary calories and butter they're adding. So I always say one of the first steps to making sure your entire day, your entire week is set up for success is to have a nice anabolic breakfast that you made yourself. And today, I'm giving you guys yet another anabolic tool to strap onto that tool belt. We're trying to be like Batman around here, not Captain Barnacle. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic breakfast quesadillas. All the breakfast staples are included. We got the bacon, we got the eggs, and we got the cheese. So if you've been looking for a healthy way to start your day off on the right foot, then look no further than this recipe, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And if you got that RJF anabolic cookbook at the start of 2021, baby, we are adding even more recipes to it. This recipe is now in in there along with every other recipe I drop on this channel. Easy to use guide, man. If you want to succeed at a diet that's sustainable, you're eating foods you love, you're actually living life at the same time. This diet, these recipes, it's all you need, man. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. Link down below. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Let's get this show on the road. I'm telling you, this is not only easy, but if you take the time, you make it, you get in that kitchen, the magic starts happening. You start getting a little leaner, the shirts are fitting better, the pants a little looser. That fat you didn't even really know you had, that little bit on your arms, that little bit on your legs, like you're gonna notice all of it start shrinking. And it's a good feeling. And we did it all without having to sacrifice on good food. Let's go. What do y'all guys think of the new cutting board? It's got the channel etched in it. It was a gift, I didn't order this myself, I'm not a psychopath. First thing we're gonna do, Start this recipe off with two low carb, high fiber tortillas. This is the brand I'm using. It's a carb counter tortilla. Lots of fiber, lower calorie. This is the option you wanna go for. Every grocery has their own version of this. So just find the best one for you. But what I'm gonna do since this is a fast moving recipe is break down all the ingredients first just to simplify all of our lives. So for each quesadilla, you're gonna need 56 grams of fat for each cheddar cheese. This is more than that because I'm making two, but just know all these amounts I'm giving you are for one, so multiply accordingly. This here is a pepper and onion Blend. I got 14 grams of yellow, green, red peppers and 14 grams of red onion mixed up in here. Gonna add some flavor and some color, make it Instagram worthy. We need 28 grams of turkey sausage. Ain't cooked it yet, we're gonna do that soon. Don't eat it as is, you've been warned. And then last but most certainly not least, I have 46 grams of egg beaters, which comes in a container like this. It's basically liquid egg whites, but it looks like regular eggs when you cook them. Use egg whites if you want to, but I think visually this is the better option. And you might notice some chunks down in there. And what that is, is seven grams of real bacon pieces. It's just cooked bacon. I put in here, it's gonna cook with the eggs and create some nice bacon eggs. You ever had bacon eggs? So step one with our quesadillas, we're gonna take about half of our cheese and spread it on the bottom half of each of our breakfast quesadillas. And once that's done, we need a little stove time. Hit it with nonstick. We'll give our turkey sausage a quick fry. And now all we do is take the turkey sausage and spread it on our quesadilla. Now we return to the stove. We got the pepper and onion blend here. I'm gonna throw them in the skillet, let them soften for a couple minutes. And once these are cooked to our liking, we toss in the eggs and bacon and give it a quick scramble. And now that the eggs, bacon, and veggies are cooked, we'll just add another layer on top of our turkey sausage. And the last ingredient left to add is just the rest of our cheese. We're gonna throw this on top. That way when we cook these quesadillas, both sides are melty and it's gonna encapsulate all of those peppers, bacon, onions, and sausage. And now all that's left to do with our quesadillas is fold them over. Once I get folded, I do like to push down on it, spread some of that goodness to the outsides, and that's also gonna help it cook better. And then once the quesadillas are folded, we have our same pan set to a medium heat, and we're gonna set both of them down right in here. And boom. And at this point, I just like to set a timer on my phone for about five minutes. And once that timer's up, I'm gonna flip it and let it cook another five minutes. And at that time, our cheese should be melted and we should be an anabolic breakfast quesadilla business. So I'm gonna let these do their thing and we'll be right back. 
and boom, and boom. And all I'm gonna do with these is take a knife, cut each one of them right down the middle. Ooh, and would you look at that, baby, perfect. And now the only thing left to do is just add a little bit of cilantro on top as a garnish. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the anabolic breakfast quesadilla. And would you look at that? Literally, in no time at all, we were able to create an anabolic, delicious, and beautiful breakfast. Let's recap. Bacon, egg, cheese, sausage, peppers, onions. Everything we want for breakfast wrapped in delicious, gooey quesadilla. If you made it this far into the video, guys, smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. What do you want to see me make? Subscribe if you're not subscribed. A million great videos coming. I promise you that. And you already know, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. It is showtime. And before we dive into this, man, I need to get my energy up. I'm gonna do a little partial dry scoop of Final Boss Pre Rainbow Supernova. Really puts the fire in them loins. Boom. Eh. Available at FinalBossFormers.com. Could RGF Tannel save you 10%. All right, let's get down here. We'll just do the top one. We got the garnish on there. We're gonna eat the garnish. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but we're gonna eat it. Check her out, baby. That's what we're gonna do. Three, two, one, let go. I mean, probably doesn't even need to be said, but the combination of everything in here is a real winner. And if you're patient and you really let those tortillas cook right, man, it's just, it's just perfect. You get a little bit of that action right there, that cheese pull action. Mm. But seriously, this is uh, freaking phenomenal. I know I say it a lot, but I'm gonna say it again. It's a new year. I don't think I've said it this year. How can we lose when we're eating like this? That's what I'm always trying to preach on this channel. As long as you're willing to get in that kitchen and make the magic happen, this whole lifestyle can be something you really do enjoy. Not a chore, not something you're gonna do for a week or two and the entire time you're like, I can't wait till I'm at my goal so I can quit, which isn't sustainable, that leads to yo-yo dieting. But when you just keep eating the foods that you love, right? You're mixing it up. Maybe you're having French toast one day, you're having breakfast quesadillas the next day. Maybe you like this so much you can eat it every single day. And to be honest, it's that good, I think. But when nothing is off limits, you're satisfying all your cravings, you're eating good, how can you fail? At that point, it just comes down to avoiding the temptation and being consistent. So in one of our anabolic breakfast quesadillas, if you make it exactly how I did it, the whole thing, which you end up with is only 273 calories, five grams of fat, 36 grams of protein, 21 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fiber. I don't know about to you, but to me, those macros are dang near perfect. That just never gets old, that right there. Thing is, if you took this exact same recipe and you use regular sausage, regular eggs, regular bacon, regular tortilla, you're doubling the calories and still not getting as much protein. And for what? I would rather eat twice as much of stuff that still tastes amazing, but is better for me than have to eat half of the garbage and still get less protein. That's what we're doing here, man. We're just putting the odds in our favor. Mm. I don't know about what you guys' resolutions are, but mine this year is gonna be to spend the entire year in great shape. No rebounds, no periods where I binge for weeks and I gain all this weight and then I'm ashamed and I feel bad and I feel guilty. No, my New Year's resolution this year is to still eat good, love what I do, and stay in great shape the whole time, all while eating foods like this. If you think this quesadilla is good, watch any of my other videos man. We got loads of foods. Loads. Just get in that kitchen, give it a shot, and I promise you won't regret it. Final bite. Let's go. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one you simply have to try. It's incredible. And if you're not a big fan of peppers, onions, you don't even got to use that stuff. The calorie difference is so negligible. It's not even funny. But if you like everything you've seen, make it exactly how I did it. Make it out of my cookbook. I'm telling you, um, it's yeah, <laughs> you're going to love it. And if you want a handy little guide right in your pocket, all of my recipes, basically my channel summed up into a digital book right on your phone with all my recipes, the ingredients, the macros, everything, check that link in my description. It's a gift that keeps on giving. It keeps getting updated. It is doubled in size since we dropped it later last year. So if these recipes intrigue you and maybe you missed the video or maybe you don't feel like referencing it while you're at the store and you just want a handy guide, everything you need, perhaps check it out, man. It supports the channel, keeps me motivated to keep uh, making great videos. And yeah, I really think it could help you. I really do. Appreciate you guys as always for watching. Smash thumbs up for me, comment anything down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I was each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Crazy thing is, this recipe was so good, I brought sauce to use with it and I didn't even use the sauce. I didn't even I didn't even need to. It was that good. Well, what do you know?